But anyway, Rob, we talked about it a little bit with Eddie House. Uh, last night, the debut, much-awaited debut of Victor Wimbanyama, San Antonio Spurs rookie. Uh, they gave the Dallas Mavericks all they wanted. Dallas won eventually 126-119. But the Spurs led for most of the way. Luka Doncic, great performance, 33 points, 13 boards, 10 assists. Uh, Kyrie chips in with 22-6. and six. Not the best game for Kyrie, but, you know, played well and, and played a role. He never really stood out much. In fact, uh, uh, when Banyama's first block of his career was on Kyrie Irving. That's pretty good. It's not even a block Kyrie yep. shot. And it was a jumper. Uh, when Banyama, for his part, Rob, uh, limited to 23 minutes because of fouls. He had five fouls. Uh, but he did score 15 points, had five rebounds, two assists, two steals, and a block. Shot six for nine overall, Rob, three for five from three. Now, in the fourth quarter, the thing that saved his night, because obviously it still was a disappointing night because you didn't get to see much of him, only 23 minutes. But in the fourth quarter, he entered with about seven minutes left, had a stretch of three minutes, three minutes, 17 seconds to be exact, where he scored nine points, had two dunks, hit a three, hit a, a like a mid-range jumper, uh, and then and also got a rebound. And he actually led them on a run that tied the game at 115. Uh, And he's done that in these preseason games or now the regular season where he's had a spurt where it was just kind of jaw dropping. And that's what it was last night. But I I thought he played like I agree with Eddie. I thought he played well for, you know, being kind of handcuffed by the fouls. I thought some of the fouls were. Either yeah, a little soft fouls you didn't necessarily have to call, or some of them just him being in the wrong position, maybe so tall um, that he just got in the wrong position. But overall, I would be encouraged if I'm a Spurs fan. Um, I give him, I really would want to give him an incomplete if I have to grade him. But if you got it, if I got to give a grade, I probably give like a B minus, Rob. I think that's fair. I, I mean, because of the lack of, of minutes, because of the uh, foul situation. I think that that's fair when you factor it all in. I did think, and I get it. Five, but the five is—is is he going to be a rebounder, Chris? Are you convinced of that? I think eventually. I actually think because everybody knows he kind of need—you know—he needs to get stronger. Just about any nineteen-year-old that entered the league, right now, LeBron was an exception, uh, but LeBron is one of the two best players ever. Um, but this kid needs to get stronger, and I think once he gets stronger, Rob, I think he'll be able to mix it up and tussle more inside to get good position to get the rebounds. Because he, what I've seen is he plays mostly on the perimeter, which I'm not that mad about because he is a good shooter. Um, but So he's not really like getting himself in position to rebound, and when he tries to go in there, he's easier to box out because he's not that strong. Right, Eddie's Eddie had a good point about the lack of aggressiveness because of the foul trouble. I do think this year he could average if he plays thirty five minutes a night, he should get seven uh, or eight, seven or eight rebounds. Um, but I think once he kind of gets robbed, like by next year, I think that goes up to nine, maybe ten. And I think like once he really you know becomes who he is, oh, I, I don't think rebounds is going to be a big problem at all. I think he is going to get a lot of boards. Um, but I, I also think, and Eddie said it, I wanted to ask him about it, but we ran out of time. They weren't running anything for him, Rob. And Popovich admitted this. And I don't, I don't know, Rob G, I don't know if he talked about this. Let me know if he did, but I don't know if Popovich is doing this because he doesn't want to put an inordinate amount of focus on the kid too fast, too soon, you know? Um, but I think they should run some more stuff for him. Um, and and they weren't, there were some times where he rolled on the pick and roll. And he he was, I mean, he's always open because he's so big. I mean, really, like that's the thing, Rob. He's so big and has reaches so high, he's literally always open. You could just throw it up and he could get it. And they weren't really hitting him on the pick and roll. There are a few times he flashed across the paint. They could have got it to him. They didn't. Um, 
And so I think they didn't run anything for him for the most part. Maybe ran a play or two for him. Yeah, no, no. But but after the game, Pop did say that they did run stuff, Chris. They said the foul trouble kind of took him out of a rhythm of being able to execute what they had. But they did run stuff for him. And maybe it was just disjointed because of yeah, it didn't you know look, where, I, where he mid, was. One mid range jumper he hit in the fourth looked like a play run for him, but you know obviously if he wants to say a, a screen and roll or a screen pick and pop is for him, okay. But um, yeah, they they I think and they got young players around him too, Rob. Like the young player, you know what young players do? They want to make a name for themselves, and I'm not saying they played selfishly. But I think they need to look for him a tad bit more. But, Rob, look, he, he looked, I mean, even in a game, Rob, he played 23 minutes and had 15 points. If he And he's done, I, t- I said yesterday, he averaged 19 points in 21 minutes a game. If he gets, if he's able, he'll learn, so I think he'll be able, in short order, to play 35 minutes, he going to be over 20 points a game. He could be, yeah. And I thought he would get 20, probably would have had more. You yeah. thought it would be even more, Chris. Right? I thought, you thought he was going to have a 26, 7, and 4. Right. Yeah, obviously. But, that but obviously, happen. foul trouble did, did uh, alter that. Yeah. Rob G., what were your thoughts uh, of Wim Banyan? He was okay. I mean, it wasn't anything special. I mean, in all honesty, he, really? was, the, he was the second best player. Rookie big man on the floor last night. I mean, night lively, li- lively also had two guys setting him up. Yeah, great. but but now, he played well. I, I yeah, actually like lively. Look, I thought it was a good pick. When Banyama looked like a 19 year old, 112 pound guy playing his first NBA game, you saw flashes, okay, which is all Mr. Lakers. With, no, but that's all you really want okay? from him. Yeah. You thought he only looked okay. Yeah. You Chris. didn't. You what? What seven four guy have you seen shoot like that? Uh, I haven't seen many seven four guys. Mid- period. Uh, I think I've ever- seen two. Period. Answer the question. Uh, Manu Bo, I saw him make None. six threes in a game. None. Did, did he, he not? Really make, right. Did he make did, six no, threes? I, yes. You, you know what I'm talking about. You've never seen a guy, and I'm not. No, he doesn't okay. shoot the, the, like the, Kevin Durant. The, that's the only comparison shot, he, is Kevin Durant, and I've, I've already seen Kevin. That's Durant a good before. one. Yeah, that's and, a good one. But Kev- and I'm not saying he's a Kevin Durant he's type. He's not Kevin Durant, right? No, but. What, he is like it reminds you of Durant. Kind of. It, it really yeah. does. Yeah. I the, mean, because he can get he can get obviously he can get a shot anytime he wants, but he can get off the dribble. He got a nice handle. Rob G, I thought no, I, in the preseason, not in the preseason, in the summer league, his handle looks shakier. Right. Than now. You know what I mean? And then in the preseason. Yeah, the 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 one thing that I'll say about him is look, he looked fine. Like again, the foul trouble and the turnovers, kind of, you know, he never got into a rhythm. You could tell until the middle of the fourth quarter when he had that little four minute stretch. Right. Did he really look comfortable? So you you kind of got to take it with and a grain you, of salt. And then also, Rob G, uh, nerves, nerves, even exactly. Been playing, I mean, did you see first, you in, know, in, in the pregame? Game. Yeah, in the pregame, they had all the lights down and all the fans had these glow in the dark, you know, toys. So it looked almost like a concert. Like the the buzz in the building was probably greater than anything he's ever been in, in the Euro oh, League. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And yeah. he's. I mean, those, and he's on. those obviously those crowds are crazy, right? You know, but they're not. I don't think they're in arenas like this. Yeah, like and and big. and he still showed enough flashes with his size and his handle and his shooting ability that would make you feel confident about him eventually reaching his potential. And I would never, I wouldn't doubt that. But to say that after the first game that you saw everything you wanted, no, you didn't. You didn't. Oh, you not, saw well, pieces not, of it because he didn't play. Yeah, it. you yeah. saw pieces of you know, it. Yeah, and we you're need, not. We need I, more even of if he had played forty minutes, you weren't going to see everything. Right, you but to see. like, I mean, but you saw on, on Twitter, they're like, "Oh, Wemby showed out when he's from." Like, no, he didn't. He, he was fine, but to say that he had this amazing debut, like Paolo Bancaro last year had a better debut than Wemby. Nah, but I, I think he was more than fine, though. I, I, I don't think he was. Uh, he was all right. I, to me, I, I'm baffled that anybody could be like, oh, he's all right. No. What was it, he was 15 something and we've three? never. 15 and 5. 15 and 5. But With it's five not just looking at the stats. Fouls. It's looking at a guy that tall. It's baking in the potential. And there was no re- It's not just like looking at somebody like Bowl Bowl and saying, oh, wow, he's got a lot of potential. Like this guy is, there's a reason to believe he's going to fulfill it. I mean, I, I I thought he was good for the time he was out there. 
And I get it, the turnovers and the fouls and those all that. Those are things that he has to but clean up. No but there's no reason to believe that... this dude ain't going to be. I mean, look. You th- think he's going to be the greatest player world. ever? Greatest player ever? I, 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 I hope so. No, that's what people are saying. I'm I hope so. No, I think he's going to be, at the very least, I think he'll be an all-time great. At the very least. Okay. Because he, I, I don't see any reason other than an injury to think he won't be. Because he shoots it, like, it, even if he's, I mean, I think at the very least, he going to be able to shoot it like Embiid when he really, you know, and if gets to himself. And and even if he can just do that, he's going to get 20-something points. His height's going to get him 10 rebounds once he's, you know, really comfortable. Um, and he's gonna block a bunch of shots. Now I, I I like him. I like him, and um, I thought he played well when he was out there. Fifteen points in twenty three minutes is pretty good. So, but you know, Rob's a Laker fan. I get it. You know, he, he's no, like man. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he told me earlier uh, that again. Wimby for a uh, future Laker. That's what he said to me. Yeah, of course he says that about. It's him. an exclusive list. I don't. I mean, I'm like seventy well, percent from the that field. That much is true. Just saying. <laughs> Just he wait. Said, as soon as they get rid of Anthony Davis, who he wanted to, Look, right? He wanted Anthony Davis. Rob, you, I've he, told you guys. The he next, wants to trade AD for NBA. The next Rob. one we're getting is Klay Thompson. He might be 40 years old, but we're going to get him. The future Lakers, is, the list is impeccable. There you go. That's because dad works for the now, Lakers. See? That's now, see? Now you got the third eye open, Rob. Now you're seeing it. I'm ready. I, I got it. <laughs> 